Ill and Ted Face the Music is a very long anticipated third movie in the Bill and Ted franchise. Bill and Ted must travel back in time to find the song that will reunite the universe and save all of humanity. Has it been worth the wait though? Obviously I haven't been alive long enough to wait the whole duration but I'll try and give you an idea if it was. So Keanu Reeves and Alex Winter are back and we all know how much of a star Keanu Reeves has become since his Bill and Ted days but the chemistry is still there despite being many many years later and now that they're very much adults they still have that great chemistry and charisma that they did from the first two movies yeah we know keanu reeves is great we know they both have that chemistry but alex winter was the standout for me he felt like a carbon copy of himself when he was younger like keanu was great but he seemed to be playing an older version of ed which obviously he is but something about alex winter's performance he just felt like he was still stuck in that teenager's body. This movie is involved with time travel and with Bill and Ted going back to see their past selves and when they do come across their past selves it makes for some hilarious interactions. Oh wait sorry I've been saying it wrong. Their future selves not past selves. It's just been very funny especially the one in prison and as we've seen with many people they're praising the return of William Sadler as death. He was one of the highlights from the previous movies. He had that something else in this trilogy which no one else had and is returned to this movie he wasn't in it from the start but he kind of makes a nice cameo which i really enjoyed it wasn't oversaturating it it was there for a nice amount of time look many long awaited comedy sequels don't end well so people were mixed up in anticipation for this movie but it doesn't reach the same heights as the other two have but Nonetheless, it's not an awful movie, it still has a lot of the charm there, so it could have been a lot worse, but it's surprisingly not too bad. I say it's not bad, but by no means it's it's not perfect. I just start off with one of the things which stuck for me for ages, and I think it's controversial from what I've seen with everyone else's reviews, they seem to enjoy them, but Bill and Ted's daughters, I found them too cringy. I think it's partially because Bill and Ted's vocabulary from the first two movies it kind of fit around that time but now that we're in the future and they've had daughters it kind of feels out of place that they're using that kind of vocabulary i didn't like their impressions yeah it could have been spot on but it just didn't sit right with me but like they're trying to pass on the mantle which i didn't like too much in the first two movies if the jokes didn't land it's fine because we love these characters we like the energy they gave it whenever they made a joke just it was way too cringy. It didn't land. I really did enjoy it. That's one of the things that held it back. In Bill and Ted's excellent adventure, there's just a simple, straightforward plot line executed well. In Bill and Ted's bogus journey, there's a lot of plot lines. They're all bizarre, but I loved all of them. In this movie they had too many plot lines and they all didn't meet a satisfying end. There was a lot of unnecessary ones, especially with Bill and Ted's wives. How Things go down a certain path and then it kind of doesn't matter in the end and you're like oh why did they go through the trouble of showing us that if it didn't really matter in the end. One of those plot lines which still it was a good plot line when the daughters were gathering historical figures, historical musicians to put, write the perfect song. It didn't really give us time to get to know these historical figures like we had in the first one so we didn't really care about them. I know nothing was going to happen to them but they didn't impact us at all. We didn't find them funny. We didn't find them compelling. They were kind of just literally there not saying anything. Obviously a lot of them don't speak English but a lot of them didn't speak English in the first movie. They still had their moments whereas in this one they were just kind of in the background. And I'll give it to this movie they did have some funny jokes. Like for example I liked Dennis. But with Dennis they're like oh we found something funny let's keep doing it because then it'll be funny. So when he was introduced and when you discovered something about him it was funny. But then for the rest of the movie they kept making very repetitive jokes and you're just like okay your time's up this isn't funny anymore it wore the joke thin to the point where <laughs> you kind of wanted the character not to be in this movie just to cap off all my cons i would also just like chuck in a small one which doesn't really matter because it wouldn't have changed the outcome of the movie too much if it was proper but the green screen you could really tell was present obviously they're not going to have a real fantasy world but you could really tell that the background behind them was fake now there is my review of Bill and Ted Face the music. I'm a bit, I was a bit underwhelmed with it compared to other 
people who have reviewed it, they seem to enjoy it. Maybe it was just because they had low expectations for a long-awaited comedy sequel, but even so, when it came, I was disappointed. As I mentioned, it could have been a lot worse. I'm not sure if it could have been a lot better, but I didn't enjoy it too much. If you're a Bill and Ted fan, I'd still recommend watching it, but in terms of comedy or just watching it in general, it wasn't too amazing. I didn't have that much of a great time. Sometimes it felt like a chore to sit through, even though it was a short runtime. But now, in terms of my score, I'm going to give Bill and Ted Face the Music 59%, which of course isn't the best score in the world, but by no means it's not the worst score that I've given movies this year. Thank you for watching my Bill and Ted Face the Music review. If you're interested in seeing another Bill and Ted video, which will be a ranking, I'll have that out in a few days after this video, so make sure to stick around for that one. If you're new, please like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in the next one.